And uh, if you're a Luton town and you're like, how have we not scored? Well, I just wanted some more on a twist. <laughs> oh my god, this guy is insane! Hey all my people, how you doing? I hope you're having a fantastic damn day. Welcome back. Uh, episode number 12 of the West Brom career mode is about to get underway. So if you do enjoy this, hit that like button, please. We'll be kicking things off against Watford. Always a tough affair. They have got some good quality players in their team. So obviously at home, the Hawthorns, it will be rocking for that game. And then again, still at the Hawthorns, uh, we host Blackpool before finishing off the episode with two games away from home against the likes of Luton Town. Of course, they were relegated last season from the Premier League, so I do expect them to have some good quality in their side. And then, of course, the Tractor Boys, uh, Ipswich, also away. Okay, what are they asking us here? Um, it's been a really good run. Yeah, you know what? We're still undefeated, by the way. Uh, we set six points clear at the top of the tail, which is fantastic. Uh, the boys have been doing an, an amazing job. And also, they're, they're fully fit, by the way. Um, so our starting 11, we will have a, a very strong... 11 to go up against Watford with. So I'm also very excited about that. Obviously, we had that problem with trying to balance the fitness and the sharpness, but I think I've done a good enough job now with, with my, my management team. We've decided a few training drills will help um, with that going forward. So I, either way, I'm very happy. Um, are Watford a threat to our position? To be honest, it's all about us. We If we win, they're not a threat. If they win, well, they're showing that they have got a lot of quality in their side and that they can compete up there with the best of them, which is us. So... It will all be decided on the pitch. Haksibanovic plays it off. Oh, oh, Pimper this time. Oh my God, it's a fantastic save from Backman. And we've landed ourselves a corner five minutes into this one. I need to find Jokoslu. I see he is in the center there. And it's down to Jed Wallace, puts it into the box and Jokoslu defended quite well. And Malumbi from distance and Backman yet again. Fantastic diving save to his right, well, his left. Um, either way, Really good start for the boys. Into Malumbi this time, and he hits the crossbar and the post. And it's out, saved from, or clawed away from the, the, the goal by the defender. And uh, I, I don't like this mid block that they are playing. But nonetheless, puts it in. Ooh, what a save, Backman. Like, honestly, this goalkeeper is keeping them alive. Um, and obviously it's a goal line decision. Why do we need this technology now? Look at Backman though, he's putting off a, a wonder save. Um, as you can see, the ball has not crossed the line. If I was an Arsenal fan, I wouldn't know that, but the ball was never anywhere near the line to warrant goal line technology. Uh, we've got Jed Wallace here taking it, puts it in. Oh, it's on Jokasnu's head. Oh, Malumbi this time. Puts it into the box and that is a fan. He's missed the whole goal. Oh my days. We we had him on side, Pippa. Pippa, oh my goodness me. I have so many jokes to make, but not enough time to say them all. And uh, that is half time. And honestly, we should be up, but whether it's a Backman save or just a horrible miss, we have not found the back of the net. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. You know what? Haksabanovic. God, that was a terrible shot. Actually, we are going to make some changes now. Um, I, I'm, I have not been impressed with Malumbi. He's lost the ball in some very dodgy areas, so he is going to come out for Cullen. Um, Madger, who scored a hat-trick, don't forget, he did score a hat-trick in that last game. He's going to come in along with Grant. And um, to say the very least, Pippa has been shocking, missing our best chance of that first half. So he's going to come out with Swift coming in as that number 10. And then... Um, you know what? Just wholesale changes. All five in, all five out. I'm I'm quite happy with those changes on the left-hand side. You absolute plastered idiots. There's 17 minutes left in this game, and I, I think the fresh legs would definitely help us. We've had to take out the man there. I don't know if that's going to be a red card or a yellow. Hopefully it's a yellow, because that could affect us. It's, it's It should be a yellow card. Okay, he's coming off anyway. It doesn't matter. We've got some fresh legs on now, and hopefully you can try and trigger a, a counter attack with something from... Uh, this free kick obviously if they score it it's gonna look like a very harsh boo-boo but obviously our subs can come on now so bars off for them and we've made all five changes for ourselves now they do have a very intense free kick here Healy's going to try and whip this one in uh, and he's put it in the near post area but of course it had to be big yokishu was there now grant and Madger, i am heavily relying on you guys to to score for, for me here um, production, 
Ref, that's a foul. Okay, but this time it's Cullen. Cullen. Ballin. Madger. You're joking. You're absolutely joking. He's hit it straight at the goalkeeper. I, like, this man is Nick Jackson's version of, of, of the, the championship version of Nick Jackson. You need like 40 opportunities. Well, that's many handballs there. But you need like 40 opportunities to get Magic to score one ball this season. I don't know why. He's very streaky at times, and I, I don't like that. Well, starting off with a, a nil nil draw, multiple opportunities to score, multiple opportunities hit straight at Backman. I mean, he did make one or two really good saves. He did hit the crossbar on the post, but not the best start to the episode. Oh, we've backed the man into the corner and we've somehow come away with it, but they fouled him. Sanko puts it into Haksabanovic and he's put it straight at the goalkeeper. What is up with my players and just trying to hit the goalkeeper whenever they can? Into Pippa. Pippa lays, oh, it's a good save from, uh, is that, is that a gun? I, 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 I don't know. It could be gun, it could not be. Um, yeah. It's a, it's a great save. Blackpool's goalkeeper making a fantastic save. Okay, but now we've got a corner kick. We've got um trainer on it. I do like that this kid is good with his set pieces. Uh, puts it in a very dangerous area, but uh, it looks like the goalkeeper's there. Into trainer on this wide left, and we've put it into a dangerous area. But they've cleared us away. This low block is absolutely killing me right now. And Grimshaw with a great hand to that bottom corner. Haksibanovic from distance. And we've got another corner. We have been piling on the offensive pressure here. But can we open up the scoring? It hits the flipping post or crossbar. Um, it's just not going our way right now. Offensively, we, we seem to be ticking. But that, that final ball, that killer ball, it's just not there for us. Okay, so some stats at the halftime break. We've, we're obviously... Doing a bit better than them in uh, possession. We've had more shots than them, four to zero. Uh, more ball recoveries, more passes, more tackles. But we're doing a very good job. We just need to have that little bit of execution at the end. And, well, we will definitely be rewarded. What can you do from this wider area? Just whip it up, whip it over, whip it into the danger area. And Grimshaw is there yet again. Grimshaw, he's, oh, that's a bad kick as well. Jakob Schlu is there. I uh, probably should have played it, but you know what? Just go first time. You, it was going to take a moment of magic. And you know what? Captain Jed Wallace, he steps up from distance, curls it, travellers it, top bins off the crossbar, and in. I, I will take that all day, every day. Um, terrible kick from Grimshaw. And they gave me some space. It, it's a low block, and we beat you from distance. I mean... Honestly, I think Blackpool will, will live and die by that because more times than not, that's probably missing and hitting the crossbar or going over. So you, you win some and you lose some when you play such a, a deep block like that. Well, we've got an inverted fullback run here from distance yet again. And he's just never that one flat over. Um, you know what? We are going to make a few changes. It's around the 60th minute when I normally like to, you know, Bring in the, the, the newer players, just freshen it up just ever so slightly with Grant coming onto that right mid position. Um, yeah, to be honest, Capri, he's going to have a bit of a breather. Train is also looking a bit tired. We're going, we're going to save that one last change. I think it's going to be Haksibanovic off for Swift, but I want to save it until like the, the 80th minute or so. Uh, obviously, we are just narrowly winning. We need a bit more. And I think Haksibanovic, he's got one in for me. Here we go. Haksibanovic, distance on it. And straight at the goalkeeper. It's just one-way traffic at the ref. That's a foul. That's a very late whistle as well. Okay. Wallace to try and create a ref. That's a foul again. Haksibanovic foul. Whips it. Near post. Flicks on. And Carlin Grant this time. I, I will take that. I thought he might be offside. But never fear. Carlin Grant is here. He gets the the very much needed pressure easing goal for us. I, I'm quite happy with that. I thought that ball would actually go a bit deeper, but flicked on beautifully for Grant into the space, and um, yeah, Grimshaw had no chance. Look at this, great finish. That's an impact sub right there. Yeah, that's a solid finish, to be fair. Here we go. We It's just been relentless wave after wave of attack. Haksibanovic drives baseline over the... Ooh, that's a corner, isn't it? Wow, okay, well, I'll take that. It was a good cross from Haksibanovic not to go out either, but now we've got a good moment. How has he done that? 
How has he scored that goal? <laughs> I mean, I'll take it, but how how has he physically been able to get the ball between the defender, the post, and the goalkeeper, and into the back of the net? Can can like what? <laughs> oh, pff, cool. Oh, we have a good runner here. Carlin Grant this time. You know what? He might he might be getting a start. But anyways, it's been a game of two halves. First half, we were creating these fluid chances, but not being able to finish them. Second half, we uh, definitely created harder chances, but we were able to put them in the back of the net. I don't mind. I don't care. Three points is all that matters um, before we, we head on our mini road trip, you could say. So Carlin Grant coming off the bench, scoring two bangers especially that third one was fantastic that is a massive problem i've just realized this um while i'm preparing the team for the game i've just realized malumbi kelly and and woodman oh my god as well as olsen are all out on international duty step up more okay so obviously with those uh international call-ups we've had to make a few changes obviously on the bench as well but more a, a, a player who i did not expect <laughs> to be getting any minutes he was literally just going to be the third choice goalkeeper um he's got a massive game here up against Luton Town who obviously were relegated from the Premier League so they do have some good players on their side um we're also giving Carlin Grant a start on that left hand side almost winning it back and we do indeed um I do like that Cullen is getting uh, some some minutes now oh my god he's just come back from an ACL that should probably be a red he's gone in with full intent full-blooded attack and um, very lucky that um, my boy's been able to get up from that. And so now we've got a free kick here. I still don't have a dead ball. Sp I mean, I do. Uh, Haksibanovic, but I think he's on the... Well, he's, he's in the reserves for this game because he's not fully fit. So we are going to put it here. And we're going to give it like around that much power. And it doesn't even beat the wall. This, this back four is very unsettled right now. I don't know what it is, but Maul makes a great save. Tinker, Tinker sir. Fingertip save as uh, Medran, didn't he used to play for Madrid? From Madrid to like Chicago Fire to little old Luton Town. That's that's crazy to me. Uh, but they've got a corner here. Medran's to take it as well. He's gone near post and uh, Colin Grant, he's tried to win it. I don't know what he's effectively trying to do with it either. Uh, but we, we, we try to surround the man. We get the, the touch. Come on. No, 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 no. Oh, more. More. Even though he's a lower rating compared to Palmer, and even though I signed him to not ever play, I mean, these opening 40 minutes, he's made crucial touches, saves, and oh my god, cleared off the line this time. And uh, if you're a Luton Town, and you're like, how have we not scored? Well, I just wanted some more on a twist. <laughs> oh my god, this guy is insane. Absolutely insane. How many saves has he made in this half? But it, it, it always does come to an end. But hopefully we can score a goal here in transition. I think that's going to be our best opportunities. Oh, I see it. I see it. I saw it first. We've laid it on to Pippa, who can't make an intelligent run there. Well, half time, and uh, it's safe to say that uh, Luton Town, their pedigree from the, the experiences of the Premier League last season, it's definitely showing, but uh, this man right here is definitely like the player of the half, if not the game. It's still nil nil thanks to our goalkeeper, and it's not our first choice, it's our third choice goalkeeper. Okay, so they have had eight shots. Oh wait, no, I'm looking in the wrong area. They've had six shots, my mistake. Um, how many of them were on target though? Um, shot accuracy is uh, 67%. Expected goals, 1.3. So more has been very very good for us very very good indeed how do i see his uh, you know what i'm going to have a look at the performances because i want to see what this guy has done for us because he has been absolutely incredible he's got he's got the highest rating in the team that makes so much sense doesn't it um yeah a 7.9 definitely our best player um grossly outperforming his overall uh pass accuracy is 100 um, I think he's made like two. He's made two passes, quite literally. Um, offsides, okay, that's fine. Yeah, this guy has been incredible for us, guys. Honestly, fan damn friggin' tastic. 
His uh, saves, obviously shots against him, has been six. Uh, shots on target, four, and he's made four cracking saves. 100% save accuracy, all coming from that right-hand side. So he's very right-sided dominant or left-sided dominant for him. Um, but again, really, really good. <laughs> all into Colin Grant. Trainer, he's made that overlapping run into the back post area. Psycho! Oh my goodness me, and Pippa. Pippa this time outside of the foot, and it's a great save from their goalkeeper. I think that might be Tim Cool, but uh, we've got a, a big corner here. Can we make the most of it? I see I see Yokoslu, and he sees the back of the net. Finally, uh, we don't deserve it. I, I will not lie to you. By, by any stretch of the imagination, we have been the second best team in this game. But you've got to make the most of your chances. We have capitalized on one of the very few chances we've made. I think Pippa's shot was like the best opportunity we had. And then, of course, that. So, Yakuslu, as for always, from midfield, from deep, making it count the most when he's got his opportunity. That was That's a fantastic ball. That's a fantastic ball. Into Sanko, and he makes it to 2-0 on the day. We are going to ring the changes, ring the subs. Um, yeah, like I say, we have not deserved it, but we've hit them on the break when need be. We've taken the, the most of our opportunities. Uh, Wallace is going to come out for Swift. He is a bit unhappy. I need to play him a bit more. Um, Fauna is going to come in for Yoko Schlu. As you can see, we don't even have a goalkeeper on the bench. So it's a bit it's a bit rough out here. Um, but yeah, we are going to play Riedewald as that left back. I know he has played there for Crystal Palace before, so I'm very confident that he can still do a job. He can link up quite nicely with the midfield. But um, yeah, other than that, I'm very happy with these changes. And 2-0 is a flattering scoreline. How, how is that <laughs> our throw-in? We've somehow rigged this game. Normally it's rigged against us, but we have somehow rigged this game. Good ball out here from to Capri into the Ghana. Back into the likes of Bradley, who plays it into Maja, who... Oh, that is just filth. Simply but elegantly placed to the left of the goalkeeper. 3-0, um, definitely flattering at this point now. Uh, but Bradley with another assist and Madger, well, he didn't need 50 chances in this game. Ref, blow that whistle, please. Referee, blow that whistle. Give me that clean sheet. We've done it. A 3-0 drubbing. Uh, again, a game of two halves. That first half, we were being peppered. Looking like a Caesar salad with all that spice added around our goal line. But that man right there, wearing the captain's armband, I like that. I like that a lot. Um, that man right there kept a, a clean sheet for us today and more or less propelled us to that 3-0 win. So I am very happy with that. I mean, the, the, the guys who replaced the, 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 the gents that were away on international duty did a fantastic job. They say the hallmarks of a good team is winning when you're playing badly. Well, we've won games where we've played very badly in that first half, both occasions. Okay, so just having a look at Kieran McKenna's men. Uh, Ipswich Town, they have lost four of their last five, drawing the last one that they did play. They play a 4-2-3-1. Um, Twin Zebi plays for them, which is cool. But yeah, not, nobody that of, of real note that I, I can say we, we got to really focus on them. Their attacking players that my scouting report has told me to look after is uh, Chaplin as well as Taylor. So we'll have to make sure that, that our defensive side of things is looking after them very nicely. Um, their attack is rated 69, their midfield is 70, as well as their defense. They are a three-star team, and they're currently placed 23rd in the league. Um, a straightforward victory? I don't know. Oh, well, that is useless burns. Oh, my God. Oh, my. Oh, 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 my. Oh. Um. Okay. Well, Moore played the entire game against Luton and uh, didn't concede a goal. Uh, Woodman comes back from international duty, obviously goes back between the sticks. Um, yeah, he lets in a very uh, huh, shaky goal. Definitely wins against the, the, the run of play here, but I have faith in the boys. We're going to pull this one back. And if we don't, I'm going to be... Oh, that's a good ball into reach, and Adam Reach this time, one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper, toe pokes at home, and quite literally, five minutes after they've scored, your boys have come up big. And I, I quite like Reach on this right-hand side, obviously a natural left-foot player can invert a bit more as that right winger if need be, and um, 
I mean, he's produced the goods here. He's got the experience needed to play on that right-hand side um, and all the qualities I require from my wingers. Uh, so a, a really good finish from him. Oh, into Haksabanovic, and he's contesting for it at least, but mm, that's annoying. That is annoying. Just plays straight through my press. Come on, gentlemen. Oh, Haksabanovic, he's onto it. You know what? You know what? It's just it's just too easy. Like for for a brief moment I thought, oh you know, we're down one null. They're gonna just sit back and make sure it's very hard for us to try and break them down. Whoa. They got big heads. They were like, we're gonna try and attack them again. Um they tried to play through our press. They they ended up losing it and uh, big boy Haksabanovic, he's like, I haven't scored yet in this episode and I have to score, so maybe just bang it in the top bins. And uh, to be honest, it's a great finish from from the young man. And, uh, well, well, we're winning now. There we go. There we go. On his left, trusty left foot. You know what? I, I genuinely might be starting this man from now on, um, on that right-hand side, because we've seen Pippa miss countless chances, whether it's his left foot, right foot, whether it's with his head. This man, two shots, two goals, and um, a, a massive man of the match performance. Of course, we did convert him into that right midfielder uh, to start the season with, and... Um, he hasn't really been playing there. He's been played at left back, at left wing. Uh, but maybe that right mid is the, the perfect position. Tu and Zebi doing a terrible job with trying to close down the man. And he's put that in the top, top corner. And uh, Swift, I need you to run into that space. But anyway, we've got Reach here on the ball. Looking to facilitate and create. And he passes it straight back and into Swift and back. And into this wider region. And now we've got that back post run from our striker who makes it... 4-1 on the day, uh, 60 minutes gone by, we're cruising against uh, Karen McKenna's boys, and they are playing at home by the way, so we're embarrassing them in front of their home crowd. Oh, big ball over the top, what a run from the right back, takes a touch! That was an extraordinary run from, um, from Connor Bradley. Uh, if he had finished that, that would have been a fantastic assist, I think it may have been even for reach. Uh, but we are going to make some changes here, bear the way. Um, obviously it's 4-1, this game is more or less done. And uh, we don't actually have a striker on the bench. So Markovic is going to be playing as a makeshift with Ajaria coming into that number 10 role. Ballard has done very well, but Lloyd Kelly is going to get his run out. Obviously coming back from his international duty. Jokoslu does have the opportunity to take the armband, but he is also going to come out for Redevolve. And then Malumbi... Mm, yeah, no, I don't I don't really like that. So Malumbi is going to carry on the bench with Cullen coming out for Fauna. I do like Fauna. Um, so that was a fantastic mention from, from you guys. I'm sorry, I can't remember who, who mentioned him. Uh, but I I really like him. He doesn't play like a 70 overall. He's he's very, very good, to say the very least. Oh, what good good that you know what he's redeemed himself ever so slightly oh no 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 what am i doing with the ball at the back chap chaplain with the with the goal um uh, you know i was trying to be a bit too clever trying to play it from the back and uh why is ajaria my attacking midfielder playing as my center back like He's not supposed to be there. And he squeezed it between the goalkeeper and the, the near post there. Come on, we'll take that. 4-2, that, that was not even very convincing. Come on, it was, come on, you're right. But, um, come on! There we go, much better. <laughs> uh, yeah, a very comfortable win. Obviously, the first three minutes, I was like, what, what the hell's happening here? But the boys came through. This man right here, though, I, I think, I think we have to, you know, make some changes because... He needs a bit more games, and I do like him. He's he's thirty one, but I think maybe for the rest of the season he could be that that right mid that we've been missing from our rotation. Okay, so as you can still see there, even though we did drop points in our first game to Watford, who sit fourth, we're still first, um, and we've actually grown the lead. At, at the beginning of this episode, I checked before the episode started, we were six points clear of Sheffield Wednesday. Well, we're now eight, and to be honest. The first game of that next episode, which will be next weekend, um, we are playing Sheffield Wednesday. So that's going to be an absolute cracker of a game. 
They've only lost twice. They've won 11 games though in their first 18, which is not too bad. Um, but yeah, that's that's going to be a really, really good game. So I'm very impressed with that. Um, Leeds have more or less stabilized their season, just having a look at it. They sit fifth with uh, Southampton sitting third, just five points off of Sheffield United. We play both Sheffield United as well as Southampton in that next episode. So that's going to be a real pressure cooker type episode for us. Um, and then just having a look here down in the bottom, Bristol City on 11 points, Ipswich, we've just played them, they're on 12, and Bolton Wanderers on 14, wow. Anyways, um, so yeah, we're going to end the episode off right here, right now. If you guys have enjoyed this, as always, hit that like button, please. Uh, subscribe if you are new, that would be fan-damn-tastic. We have career mode videos out every weekend on the channel, one episode a day, of course. Um, so yes, until the next time, my dudes, have a damn great day. I'm out.